After downloading the HP UFT and installing on your PC, now it is the time to start the testing. What exactly is HP UFT? HP UFT is a functional regression testing tool which is used to test different applications. Maybe it is a Windows based, web based or Oracle application based, Java, anything. So let us see now how do we test an application on Windows. But before starting to test an application on Windows, we need to have an application. So when you install the HP UFT, you get a sample application free with it. The name of the application is flight resolution application. Now, what does that flight resolution application does is, let us see that one by one in detail. Flight resolution application is used to search all the flights, book all the flights, update the order which you have already, uh, you know, book the flights and also delete. So four things it does, search, book, update and delete. So it does this stuff itself entirely. So where does it come? How can I open that sample application? If you're using previous version of HP UFT, that's QTP, you, uh, you can go to the start windows, all programs, you have HP application, a folder inside that you have a sample application and you can open that flight GUI. The name is given as flight GUI. Same, if I want to open in Windows 10, my PC is right now Windows 10. If I want to open it, I have to just press Windows button and I can just simply type flight GUI. Yeah, that's a flight GUI if you can see it. I'll just click on this enter part and it will open. Now, if you see the name of the application, HP company, my flight sample application, and it is used to search, book, delete, and update the order. Now, the very first screen which I get is login window. It says you have username, password, only then you can log in. Otherwise, you cannot do it. Now, I don't have the username, password. What I'll do is I'll try to play with it. I'll try to enter wrong username, password, and see what happens. I've typed Pavan and Pavan, username and password. And now I'll click on OK. It says it is not the correct password and the username. If you want to go inside this, it is so decent, innocent, it is giving the username password. So it says username is John, small case, and the password is capital HP. So if you want to log in, use this de details, credentials. So I'll say OK. And I'll type here as John, and I'll type the password as capital HP. That's it. If I want to cancel, I can just click on that. If I want to enter into application, I'll click on OK. Now, once I log into that window, it gives me this screen, which says, let us see what exactly it says. It says book flight or search flights. So if I click on this search flights, I can search flights based on name, date, and also the order number. And I, I'll go with this book flights first. Always remember, if you want to book a flight first, you have to select the flight from where you to where you want to go. Then you can select the date of journey and you can select the number of passengers, the different class, business, first class, economy, and so on. So what I'll do is I'll select the flight which starts from Paris and I want to go to let's say London. Okay. And from Paris to London, you have some specific date. I'll select, I have a date that is, I have let's say 30th of September. I want to travel from here and the class would be as business class. Okay. How many passengers you have, you are traveling with. So I'll say as I am three, we are three passengers and I'll click on flights, right? Search flights. So what we have done is I have given the details from where to where, what date, number of seats, etc. And I'll just click on find flights. So the moment I click on find flights, I'll get list of all the flights, which starts from Paris. It finishes at London. It stops in London. And the price of each flight is given in USD. Okay. And the date is given and the flight details. The flight number is given here 10535AF. So that's the flight details. So whichever you find suitable, okay, you can select that. Uh, flight itself and finally you can click on this select flight now you have selected the flight the selected flight will give the details Paris to London 30th September the time of departure and the arrival is given and that's it now let us see if I want to order or if I want to book the flight this is the order part so I, I if I try to click on that it will not work okay the reason is it is disabled what is the reason of disabled being disabled you have to provide the passenger name once you provide the passenger name, only then this button will be enabled, right? So let us see that if I type any text, if I type any text here, let's say I started, you see that is getting enabled. So I'll just type some name only after that I can book the flight. Okay, so I've written as Pavan Lalwani here and I'll just click on this order button. So let's see after I click on order button, what will happen? Yeah, let's see, I'll click on this order button. You see it is getting buffered. So once it is done, it says, order number 89 is completed 
Remember, every time when you click on order button, a new flight, if you uh, keep on clicking it, this order number will keep on changing. It will not be the same order number, right? So that's a unique order, order number in this entire uh, flight application. Okay, so I've selected that. Now, what will happen is I'll try to, you know, search the same order number. Let's say that is 89. Okay, so now if I want to search some other flights, so I can just click on this new search button and I'll get list of all the flights again. I, again, if I want, I can book it. But now I do not want to book a flight. I want to search some flights. So I'll go to this next tab. Okay, it says, do you have the name or you have the date of travel or do you have the order number? So I'll say I have the order number and I'll select this order number radio button and I'll type as 89. Let us see when I type order number 89, if I click on search, what happens? It will give you the order number 89 details, the name, the flight from uh, flight to the details are given entirely. At any point of time, if you think the name is incorrect or the details are incorrect, you can still update or delete the order. Okay. So how do we update the order? So if you see here, I'll keep my cursor here. Okay. This is the part which is update order, but right now it is disabled. Okay. It will only get enabled if you try to do some changes here. So if you see that is nothing, but it is not in the proper color. So if I type here as, if I keep my cursor and put a space, observe here, what will happen? It gets enabled, right? And if I type here as two, right? And after typing two, I'll just keep my cursor on this place and see what is the message I'll get. Now the message I'll get it as update order. So if I click on this update order, this order will be updated like this. If I click on this update order, this order will get updated and it says order number 89 is updated now. Okay. So this way I've updated the order, but at any point of time, if you think I want to delete the order, I don't want that order. So you can just click on this button that is number 89. So that is the delete dustbin button. So I'll just click on that and it says, do you really want to delete the order? I'll say, yes, I want to delete the order and I'll click on yes. So once you click on yes, that order number 89 is deleted. Okay. So I hope you are able to understand how do we search flights, book a flight, update order and delete order in the sample application. Remember this sample application we'll be using in the entire training course for using HP UFT. How, what are the different features and functionalities available in the testing tool? And that's all for this video.